Good day everyone and welcome to FXDD webinar, how to avoid the spiral of doom. My name is Nenad, it's uh, August 22nd and now we have educational session. Foreign exchange trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for everyone. Please ensure that you fully understand risk more before you start trading live. Everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. And here, use these web addresses to sign up for more live educational and trading webinars. Now, we can start with, uh, uh, with the webinar by saying that compounding is the most important thing when it comes to your psychology and money management. Because your successful trading is based on profitable strategy, uh, good risk management, and a proper psychology. If one of these legs falls, the tripod will crumble, and that will not be good. Okay, now, uh, why uh, call this lie the alchemist? Because uh, if you read Paolo Coelho's book, Alchemist, uh, there, is, uh, there is a great quote that I always use to quote uh, when it comes to life and trading. But before I tell you that, uh, you need to know that many traders face with initial stroke of luck, okay? And uh, usually when you see that your trading is going your way and that you have a lot, lot, lot of success in trading, it is because you either don't use stop loss, trade randomly, and you haven't been slapped by the market. And uh, usually for novice traders, uh, there will be a string of very lucky trades which uh, novice traders might misplace for a proper trading. And after, let's say, a week or one or two months of uh, very good, very good uh, profits, uh, there usually uh, will be followed by a margin call. Some traders will experience margin call in a couple of days, but some uh, traders can be lucky that they last for two, three weeks, a month or two, and that's it. Guys, do not let this happen because uh, the name of the game is to stay as a long marathon runner over the course of years, not to uh, actually stray away from your path and lose everything in a matter of months. Uh, the, the spiral of doom is something that can be the worst for a trader and their worst nightmare. That is, you should always uh, avoid. Paolo Coelho said that every search begins with beginner's luck and every search ends with the victors being severely tested. The boy remembered an old proverb for his country, and it said that the darkest hour of the night came just before the dawn. Guys, this is going to help you out if you just get deeper into understanding of uh, this webinar and uh, uh, the spiral of doom. Do not let the luck shape your trading success. Let the knowledge and the things that you do each day like following your system religiously, proper money management, and the tripod of successful trading shape your trading career. Uh, when we come to proper psychology, we need to mention Maslow's hierarchy of motives. And this is a very good thing because in this guys lies a big, big truth. Uh, I always followed uh, proper, uh, let's say, uh, pyramid uh, when it comes down to my life so far and uh, I have found this to be very 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 true. This is uh, straight to the fact. First of all uh, each uh, person uh, starts with, uh, with uh, feel physiological needs. So uh, we need to satisfy the need for the breathing, food, water, shelter, clothing and sleep. Then it comes to safety and security. While uh, where health, employment, property, family, and social stability are important. When we satisfy the second uh, step, then we come to love and belonging. It's friendship, family, intimacy, and sense of connection. Then we come to actual self-esteem, where we talk about confidence, achievement, respect of others, and the need to actually be a unique individual. Uh, these two steps can also be, uh, maybe I can say in, in trader's life, this can be 
actually the top of your uh, achievement self-esteem and self-actualization uh, as a trader you need to satisfy these needs in order to actually come to self-esteem and self-actualization because the top of the pyramid is morality creativity spontaneity acceptance experience purpose meaning and inner potential this is the top of the pyramid if you are as a trader come to this point then you you know that you are either full-fledged professional trader or you might become one but until then guys you will probably be fighting with your inner demons uh where uh your psychology might stop you out from being a successful trader so if you recognize yourself in uh, the first three letters uh well uh, know that you can go higher uh, to the pyramid but you need to avoid the dreaded spiral of doom i have been there many times and i know from my personal experience how it is to actually experience the spiral of doom and you need to actually uh, uh, recognize when it happens and try to the, to avoid it at all costs uh, each uh, uh, part of a trader success or failure begins with cycle of emotions and let's say that you're a beginner in forex trading and usually you will be faced with tough psychology uh, testing uh, the worst thing that you, you can feel and the thing that might lead to this dreaded spiral of doom is so-called euphoria you should never never be euphoric euphoria will beat you beginners are extremely euphoric when it comes down to initial training success and it happens probably to many of you just think about about your first big win how excited you were how uh what did you think when you when you had this first win? were you very 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 excited and did you think that this will happen every time you enter the market if this is the case then guys you know that euphoria will lead you to have improper uh trading decisions you will be faced with many many tough decisions where euphoria will eventually bring you down to the spiral of doom you should always try to trade optimistic and never, never trade euphoric. So when you see that euphoria is taking out, uh, you need to just calm down and let the, let the day go. You trade it, you stop trading and do not enter any trades. Because if you start losing trades, when euphoria gets you, you will come to fear. Then eventually when you lose more, you will go to surrender without any optimism now uh this is very very important this is like uh, you can watch uh your emotions as candlestick patterns because we traders always like to compare uh things with you know candlestick patterns with levels of support and resistance think of this as the level of support and think uh, euphoria as the level of resistance and uh, if you come if you actually start to trade from this point where you are optimistic then you might actually go to uh, the, the you see you might go up okay you might be successful but when you feel that you're euphoric just don't look at markets stay away from markets because this is when trend is going to change you see you uh, compare your emotions cycle of emotions to candlestick patterns from optimism to believe to the thrill and euphoria you were gaining money your candlesticks are green and suddenly here you might start to lose if you don't recognize it then you will definitely drop till next level of support 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 until you come again to the main base to the basis of support and that is disbelief so come to complacency you will say it is just profit taking these sellers will regret letting go then anxiety denial panic capitulation you start to swear speak bad language the market is rigged i will never never again trade and then there is a consolidation of your emotions and you start trading again why would you lose money uh, and uh, your nerves if you know that cycle of emotions is also equally important as having a good trading system that is my point when i said the tripod of successful trading 
the leg of that defines this cycle of emotions should be very 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 clear and when you know that you are euphoric that you're winning every single trade stop down do not let this happen to you because if you get into a down, downward spiral it will be very 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 hard to actually exit when i start to trade my each trading day always start with optimism i'm optimistic with my trades if i don't see that my trades are going well for example i had two losses uh this week new zealand dollar and uh it was the gbp cat but i don't mind because i only suffered uh 1.5 percent of the loss and my uh spiral is here i am very enthusiastic because i still have uh two trades running australian dollar singapore dollar and uh, sorry a dollar singapore dollar and the australian dollar yen if i win the trade i will be very joyful here but i will not let myself go into euphoria because i have learned to control my emotions and uh the emotions are best controlled if you uh, drop down your leverage so you don't trade with biggest possible leverage you can have uh you you can start with very very small keep the risk intact and use the leverage in wise way only if you drop into a downward spiral when there is very hard to exit that is if it happens if it doesn't happen just be calm believe uh every trade is trade for itself if you lose 10 trades in a row wait you lost maybe 15 percent but you didn't lose 55 percent so you still are able to actually go up okay and then if you still uh, uh like this uh the way of the market moves and the way that you started actually winning those trades and winning back from the drawdown never ever let euphoria take you out because even if you uh lost a lot and then you won two or three four trades in a row you still can become you euphoric you need to recognize it guys here this is something that sucks you in and it's very very hard to exit downward spiral starts with boredom okay then it goes to straight down to pessimism then to frustration overwhelmment disappointment doubt worry blame and this is very very dangerous anger revenge hatred these emotions cause you to go revenge your trades and lose your account uh if you take a look at my fx book that i have with fxdd i i, I uh, trade live you will actually see that i've been running the account for um, since the december uh sorry since yeah december 2018 so it's almost nine months guys and uh, you will rarely see that a trader actually published the result and for nine months guys uh, i have i have had a lot of success and this this is it i manage my emotions i know uh, how to manage my trades and i never ever let myself drop into this mode where anger revenge and hatred will take me out if this happens i know that i'm in a spiral of doom and it will take a lot of effort to get out just imagine that this spiral is actually a whirlpool if a whirlpool sucks you in it's very hard to swim up usually you drown, and that is what ha can happen to your account greed is something that definitely is a big part of a uh, spiral of doom it's a selfish and excessive desire for more of something let's say the money than is needed we become very optimistic about our trades when we enter a trade and it moves in our favor it is very easy to get carried away and hope expected to move further and further creating bigger and bigger profit this creates a fog on our perception so we will be blind to real market conditions winning trades are turned to losing trades this happens when euphoria takes you in guys think about it when you're euphoric you are actually greedy because you want more you want more you want more stop be relaxed and be realistic greed and fear are very strong and can have an impact even on most experienced traders because most experienced traders still are human beings 
and human beings are susceptible to psychological mistakes. Symptoms of the greed can be holding on a position for too long, over leveraging, chasing the markets, revenge trading, taking trades without any fundamental or technical validity, or jumping in a position based on a feeling. This happens when you win so many trades and you just say, okay, I don't need any system. I know what to do. I, I'm, I'm jumping in because price is moving up. Now I will jump in and I will actually follow the price. You don't do it, guys, that way. Avoid the spiral of doom. Okay, how to avoid it? You need to learn your system, strategy or method. It's called skill assessment. Prepare yourself mentally. It's called psychological preparation. Think. Think about building an account or trading the account. If you build the account, then you use compounding. If you trade the account, then you trade with your own risk assessment and you withdraw the money that you made. Analyze your risk. You need to set your risk level. That is maybe the primary thing. I should have put it at the first place here because the risk level is something that should define you. My risk level is usually in between 0.5, maximum 3% per trade. But I advise you to go with lower if you're not experienced. Read through the calendar. Fundamental analysis is important. And keep the track records. You need to know where you failed your trade and why did your trade fail. Sometimes, guys, not sometimes, but very often, uh, it's not about you or the system. It's about the market. For example, today was announcement that Brexit deadline could be uh, actually that Brexit uh, talks could continue uh, before the October uh, 31st. And that was very optimistic in the market and GBP crosses spiked up. It happens. Now, if, if, if it was for some bad news regarding Brexit, GBP, GBP would probably drop further, further down. So sometimes it's not about you or your method. Sometimes it's the market. Novice traders try to be greedy when it comes to profits and scared when it comes to losses. You need to have a plan, guys. Don't risk more than 3%. Try to satisfy these first three levels of the pyramid. And fourth and fifth level, fourth and fifth level that I was talking about will come in a due time. You need to remember that Forex is a fast paced marathon and you are the long distance runner. Okay. Try to balance need and greed. Understand the market, reduce lot size, set a stop loss, and be very realistic. Okay. Uh, following, guys, the, uh, if you follow this webinar and what I'm talking about, you will have bigger knowledge of yourself and your inner psychological levels of support and resistance. Your inner psychological levels of support and resistance are your emotions. Think about candlesticks of your emotions. When you start to trade, your mindset needs to be in the point seven, the point seven, optimistic. Whenever you feel bad and under the weather, do not trade simply because. If you trade randomly, you will lose. Stick true to your system, to your trading method, and believe in yourself and your system. Trading needs to become your passion, but not your euphoria. And from passion, guys, it will develop eventually as a joy. So think about this, guys, and never let yourself here into this spiral of doom. Because if you do, it will take a lot of effort, a lot of psychological help to get you out. I hope that you enjoyed the webinar. This is something that I insist on watching and that you should really watch. If you have any questions, guys, feel free to ask me. And if everything is clear, uh, I hope that uh, you will also make money. And then I'm your mentor and I will help you make money. So whatever is not clear, feel free to ask. Uh, until next time, guys, I wish you a great trading day, a great trading week. Cheers, and as always, trade safe.